very exciting for me. I'm more excited than nervous. I have never been so excited about interview. Because <laughs> it's not every day that you get to interview the busty girl at the hamburger joint who's been serving you burgers for the last how many months? Uh, six months almost? Six months. Okay, we are not going to name the name of the burger joint, guys, <laughs> because if I do, you guys are going to just like, well, their business will just explode. <laughs> they don't want to hear me tell the story. Well, first of all, your name is? Mia. This is Mia. Hi. She is the busted girl who works behind the counter at the hamburger joint. I've got big buns. Big buns. <laughs> you do? I do. How big are those buns? 34 double D. 34 double D. You know what? I have to have you stand up. <laughs> because you are super thin. Okay, 34 double D. Any idea what your waist measurement is? I think it's a 26, 27. Wow, I would have got smaller than that. Really? Yeah. I, Thank you. You know better than I do. <laughs> yeah, I, I, they probably throw me out. <laughs> well, me, you know what? They don't want to hear me tell the story. Why don't you tell the story of how you ended up sitting where you are sitting <laughs> right now? Okay, well, across the street from the burger restaurant I work at is... You work at the burger restaurant? I do. Behind the cash register? Yes, I and do. I'm the cashier. you work for how many months? Six months. <laughs> and a bunch of other guys from the school group? Yeah, yeah. You, Steve, Gil... The whole, gra the whole gang. I love you guys. <laughs> you guys are my favorite customers. Really? Is that true? Yes, you guys are the most fun. Mia, I gotta tell you something, okay? If I had known better, I would have been looking down your shirt all these <laughs> But you hide it. Tell the guys what you wear. I wear a giant polo where the sleeves come down to here and the collar comes up to here and then I wear an apron over that and a doofy hat that looks like it should have a propeller on top. <laughs> And there's no way anyone can tell you. No, no, I wear jeans that are not flattering at all and work shoes. That's it. That's it. Nobody can tell. No. Although I got to tell you, you were training one of your coworkers the other day, and I think he was checking you out. Which one? I think I think he was checking you out. I don't know who it was. Oh God. Yeah, yeah he was. Anyway, go tell the story. Oh. So anyway. you work at the hamburger joint. Yes, I work at the hamburger joint, but there's a pet shop across from it, and I was going to get my dog some food. I have a little multi poo, <laughs> and. On my way out, I see Dave in the car, so I stop and say, Hi, how are you? And he rolls his window down and looks at me like, Do I know you? I said that. And you said exactly that verbatim, no exaggeration whatsoever. Do I know you? And he said, I'm your cashier from the burger restaurant. <laughs> and you basically just said, Oh, okay. Well, have a great day. <laughs> Well, me, okay, it's time for some full disclosure here, okay? Okay. I actually saw you before you walked across the street, and I was like, holy shit. And I came back around, because <laughs> I was like, holy crap. You know, I was wondering why you were going the long way outside of the shopping center. <laughs> because I was like, holy crap. I was coming That's out so funny, you've never told me that. <laughs> well, now I'm telling you what a perm I am. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> what were you wearing? I was wearing a very tight top that was backless and very thin and form-fitting and I was wearing a high-waisted skirt that was also very form-fitting but it came down almost like a schoolgirl skirt and black heels. pumps. Heels, right? Yes, black heels. Did you think you were hot that day? I did, yes. I had just come back from an interview. You got the job, I hope. No, it wasn't for a job. <laughs> okay. It wasn't for a job for me. I was taking my friend to get interviewed okay. at another restaurant because okay, I, I knew the manager. I got you. I hope he got the job. Yes. Because <laughs> he knew you and yeah. you were wearing that ridiculous outfit. <laughs> Not ridiculous in a bad way, ridiculous in a very impressive way. Thank you. <laughs> so then what happens? Then you guys come into the restaurant a couple days later and you tell me to come to your table because you have something to tell me or something to ask me. And I couldn't come that day because I was very busy and my manager would have yelled at me if I had left the cash register. So you came in again and this time Gil was very slick. He said, so we want to ask you something, but I understand that you can't really, really leave your register, so I'm going to give you this website, and you should go to it on your own time. So he wrote down scoreland.com and handed, handed it to me on a piece of paper. And I went to the bathroom and I checked it out. And as soon as I saw what it was, I was like, this would be so cool. So I went running to your Were table. You huh? Were you shocked? I was absolutely shocked. Well, when I saw Scoreland, I thought, Maybe you worked for the strip club score okay. here in Miami. Yeah. So that's what I thought it was about. And then I saw the website, and that was much better than a strip club. <laughs> much better. <laughs> much better. So I ran to your table, and I said, yes, I want to do it. I want to do it, please. <laughs> so you were all in. Yes. With a thumbs up. Yes. And then you called our studio. 
Yes. And they had you come down, and you took the tour. Yes. You guys were very nice to me. It was a beautiful tour. You liked it? Yes. And the test shots? They were, yeah. You were so excited. <laughs> I was very excited. <laughs> I was excited. I saw the test shots. I was like, whoa. So, no, because from the, okay, first we have you in this ridiculously unsexy work. <laughs> It's so unflattering. It's terrible. Unflattering completely, okay? <laughs> then we have you, okay? Then I see you in this outfit. Caught me out of the pet store and it's like, holy shit. <laughs> but then, of course, you always wonder what a person looks like naked. That's true. And you know, all our blog guys are kind of wondering what you look like naked. <laughs> I'm kind of wondering if I should tease them right now or give them a little, <laughs> little clue right now what you look like. So, I mean, here's what I would like. What would you like, Dave? Like a burger? Like fries, <laughs> fries? How would you like your burger cooked? What would you fit out? Okay, I can do the last part. I don't know what we can do about a burger, though. <laughs> uh, I don't want the burger. Otherwise. I